Hello stamping friends, it's Angie here with Too Cool Stamping. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I would love to be your demonstrator if you don't already have one. I am here today with our weekly live class and I'm really excited about this one. I love fall, I love leaf images and we're gonna be working with the Love of Leaves bundle and there's some really, really beautiful and colorful cards that we're going to be making today. So, sorry, I'm having some weird things popping up. Facebook loves to be weird sometimes. <laughs> All right, so a couple announcements before we get started with our cards today. Don't forget, today is the very last day that you can sign up and register for the In the Pines Countdown to Christmas card class. That's a class that has 12 cards you'll make um, you make four each of three different designs. You can find out all the information about that card class on my website, twocoolstamping.com. And you can also find out about the whole Countdown to Christmas card series that I am offering. Um, we're doing four different card classes to help you get your holiday cards done way before the last minute. You don't wanna be a procrastinator, so let me help you out and I'll have all the cards cut and ready to go. All you need to do is buy these kits and you'll have a much easier time putting those together. So that's the In the Pines card class. And again, go to my website, twocoolstamping.com for information. Today is the last day to sign up for that first countdown to Christmas class. Okay, another reminder today, um, September only, the Get and Go starter kit is happening. And that is where you uh, purchase a starter kit for $99 and you will get $125 worth of products for, uh, and it's your choice of products for free, or for $99, you'll get the um, free shipping. You'll have, uh, just have to pay tax on that. And then you'll also get a bonus with the Get and Go promotion. You'll get two cool stamp sets, the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set, and also the So Much Love stamp set. And in addition to that, you'll also get some card supplies to make 16 cards. You'll have enough to make eight each of two different designs, and you can either use the Queen Anne's Lace or the So Much Love stamp set that you get with your kit. So, and then the best part is you get that discount. You get that demonstrator 20% off discount that you can use for upcoming orders. So if you want more information, go to twocoolstamping.com and that's gonna give you a lot of the information. You can purchase your kit there. If you have questions, just email or text or direct message me and I will be happy to answer those for you. And remember, this is only for the month of September. So with that, the two extra stamp sets and the card supplies that come with it. So definitely, definitely try that out. Oh, and I also wanna remember, I always forget to mention, um, that you also get a paper pumpkin kit in your starter kit as well. So that's, and this time um, you can actually, a lot of times they'll just send you one in the kit, but right now they're giving you a prepaid code so you can go in and use that for whatever month of paper pumpkin that you want. So that's kind of a special thing they're doing just right now. All right, the last announcement I have before we get started with our class today is it's my birthday. So, Yay. <laughs> um, but I wanted to offer a special little kind of a fun thing on my Facebook page. So right here on my Too Cool Stamping Facebook page later today, I'm going to post about a special uh, challenge. Basically, it's a birthday challenge. So my challenge to you is to send out two cool cards today. Make a couple of cards or if you already have some made, just get those in the mail to two friends two people that could really use some kind and thoughtful words from you, get two cards in the mail, come back and post that you sent those two cards and with a picture. Um, you can either, I'd love to see the picture of the actual cards, but at the very least, maybe the envelopes um, to show me that you're sending them out. And then if you're not already a customer, customer of mine, if I don't already have your address, you'll need to direct message me your address and I will send you one of my cards off of my card rack. So I, it's all kind of a win-win. You, um, you know, send out your love to two people with two cool cards. Let me know that you did that and I'm gonna send you a card. 
So I'll have more information about that posted on our website here a little bit later today. Uh, and I'll have a couple of days that you can do that as well. So it doesn't all have to be done today. You don't have to hurry up and make your cards super, super fast. Uh, I'll probably have it go through Saturday. So I'd love to, I, I thought it'd be kind of a fun way. I have a lot of cards on my card rack and it would be kind of a fun way that we can kind of pay it forward. So I hope you can join me in that birthday challenge. All right, let's get started with our class because we, I have so much to show you. I had so much fun putting together this class that I'm actually offering two, two cool, <laughs> that's the theme, I guess, two cool cards uh, classes today. Um, we usually do some kind of a, a five card class for free when you place an order this week using our featured stamp set. You'll get five of the cards that I'm gonna show you today that you can make at home along with the video. But I'm also going to, kind of like I did with the In the Pines class kit, if you um, joined me a few weeks ago, we had a five card kit and then also an actual In the Pines class, um, uh, actual class kit, which is, that's what's expiring today. The registration's closing today. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing with Love of Leaves, where you'll actually have a full class kit that will include the stamp set. It'll also include some paper, some embellishments and enough of uh, the card supplies to make 10 cards and they're going to be all different cards um, some of the ones that we're doing today that will be in your five card class plus some additional so anyway i'll have more information about that um, especially about the other class the full class later on twocoolstamping.com and that registration will be open um, I haven't set a date for that, so look for that information, and I need to kind of look at when, when my other classes are happening, because I'm starting to overlap a few right now, and I have to make sure I have time to do all the prep work. So look for the uh, registration deadline, but it'll be up for about 10 days, um, a little bit longer than the five-card class, which is usually up until the following Wednesday. Okay, enough of the announcements and reminders let's get to our class because it's a really fun one for me today i hope you really like it i love 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 fall i love leaves i love new leaf uh, images and this particular bundle is really phenomenal it's very versatile i know i've been saying that a lot lately but man stamping up is just they're just doing some phenomenal things um, with their stamps and their their dyes and the way things coordinate and the way embossing is working with it and the paper i mean they've always been known for coordination but they've really just done some really over the top things lately so all right let's flip the camera over and let's start our class today so hold on a minute and we'll flip it around all right I'm getting a little bit better, a little bit better with the roller coaster ride. We'll see how it goes. All right, so today's class is gonna focus on the Love of Leaves stamp set, as well as this coordinating die set. And this is called the Stitched Leaves Dies. And so you'll have a lot of coordinating outline cuts, but also some really cool embossing. So I'll show you those as we go along and how those all work. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on. And several of the cards, are going to be featuring the plaid tidings designer series paper this is a six by six pack of paper you have 12 different designs or 12 different um, double-sided pages and the thing i love about this card or this paper pack is again very very versatile it's like all occasion so if you look a lot of the papers on this one side are for halloween or, you know, here's one that's definitely for Halloween. These first two are Halloween. Um, this one's kind of Halloween or fall. So there's a lot for Halloween or fall. Then you flip it over and you have some Christmas patterns. You have some different kinds of reds that might be good for Christmas. But some of them are kind of pinky looking. So they're also kind of good for Valentine's. So as you can see, they really cover a lot of different seasons and they're so different. Each one is a, you know, just a little bit different of a color combination. And there's even some ones that are kind of elegant, um, just with a single color. So it's just really a unique set of paper. Usually they pick you know, a very small range of colors that they have for their color combo. And, and this one is just really wide range and a lot of versatility in one pack. So again, you get, they're six by six already pre-cut. You get 12 different patterns, double-sided sheets, 
but you get four of each. So it's essentially um, you know, a full pack of paper. It's just already cut down into the convenient six by six size. So we're gonna have several of our cards with these because I just love these patterns. I love plaids anyway. Okay, let's get started on our first card. Get my stuff here together. And the first one, of course, I just said we are gonna use plaid tidings, but we're not gonna use that for the first card. We're gonna try something a little bit different here. We're gonna start out with the gray granite cardstock. We're gonna put these over here. And we'll fold the gray granite in half. Again, all my card bases are five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So I'm gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna start, actually I'm gonna put um, a little strip of this Gilded Autumn, still one of my favorite paper packs from this catalog, the mini catalog. And this is just a one and a half by four and a quarter strip and I'm just gonna put that right along the bottom. All right, now let's start stamping our focal point. I have a piece of Whisper White three, or sorry, two and three quarter by five and a half. And I'm gonna start stamping that. I just realized I need some scrap paper. So one second, I need to get a piece of something. All right, I have another piece of grid paper. I'm gonna go off the edges here and I didn't want to, I'm gonna stamp on my piercing mat because these are photopolymer images and I wanna make sure that I get a really nice, um, kind of a firm but cushy, uh, surface under there so they have a, a nice connection and they do a nice transfer of ink. But I'm going to go off of the sheet so I didn't want to get my paper piercer or paper, um, my piercing mat all, you know, inked up. So this is going to use several different leaves from this set. We're going to start out with the largest leaf and I don't even know, uh, I, I did do a post, um, I think it might have been yesterday or the day before about the different kinds of leaves. I, and I didn't memorize what they were, but Stampin' Up! actually made the stamp set to have leaves from all over the world. And some are from um, different trees that are represented in other Stampin' Up! countries. Other, they're in like 10 different countries. And so um, you might recognize these if you're in a different country. I know that a, we don't have a lot of these leaves here in the United States, but I did put a list um, on Too Cool Stamping. On my on this Facebook page that you're that you could be watching on right now um, let's see I'm gonna start out with mint macaron and this largest leaf I should memorize what they are we're gonna stamp that at the top I to make sure I'm on my paper here and I love these images because they kind of they're they're like a solid image but they also have kind of a watercolory look. They're distinctive. If you remember what distinctive is, it means it's very detailed. It's kind of a dot pattern, much like a newspaper photo would have a dot pattern. And so you get a really, really detailed image. I'm gonna use the next one here and, oops, let me get a little bit more ink. I don't think I had it quite inked up yet. And we'll just add this here and then another one right here. So, and this is in Misty Moonlight. And once I'm done with these, I'm gonna go ahead and use my little squeegee here, clean them up so they're ready to go for the next one. My Simply Shammy, I love that. It's so fast and easy. All right, next we're gonna use the smaller leaf with some Bermuda Bay. Now I'm noticing that this ink is a little bit, um, let me just show you what I mean here. It's, it's not having that really distinctive look. It's kind of globby. I don't know if you ever get that, but I actually had a question about that this week. How can I get my, you know, my, my stamp to actually transfer ink a little bit better? So what I do is I have a dedicated bone folder. You could also just use a plastic spoon and I just move the ink out of the way. It's just simply because there's either too much ink on the ink pad, or in my case, I think that 
I'm working down in a basement and I get a lot of humidity. And so it kind of, the humidity kind of builds up, builds up, maybe has a condensation on the ink pad. So I'm just kind of moving it to the outside. And you might even be able to see that it's a little bit lighter on the inside there. And then I would just take a, you know, a paper towel or a Kleenex or something and wipe that off. And you could use some um, Stampin' Mist and make sure that all of the excess ink is off. It is going to stain your bone folder, which is why I have a dedicated one. Um, but I just keep that on hand for refilling my ink. You know, if you put your ink refill on there, this is a great way to spread it around. But I also have been using it a lot for this purpose because just the humidity in my stamp room is kind of crazy sometimes. So, so much better of an image there. And I'm just gonna add some additional stamps there. And then we're gonna finish up. I'm gonna stamp off and clean that up. We're gonna finish up with some gray granite with the smallest leaf. And we'll just get a little bit of that image in there as well. I think this part might be covered, but I'm just gonna put a couple of those right there. Just, we're gonna cover this part up. I wanted it to fill in that just in case it was gonna show. All right, now let's start building that card. So again, here's our card base. I'm gonna put that on here. And we'll use that sneal, the sneal, the sneal. See, I didn't say snail this time, but I didn't quite say seal. The sneal, that's the new thing. The seal adhesive is awesome. I hope you guys have tried it out because it really is my favorite adhesive. All right, next we have a little die cut here. I believe I used the ornate frames and it's just whisper white. And we're going to add one of the sentiments. We have a lot of cool sentiments in this stamp set as well. Hope changes everything. I thought of you today. Thank you. Hello. I'm so glad you're in my life and your friendship is something I know I can count on. Lots of thinking of you types of sentiments that are really great. All right. I'm going to use Bermuda Bay and I'm going to use the I'm so glad you're in my life. So that fits nicely on there. And then we're gonna put that right about there. I already did some die cutting of some leaves. And so I did a little one and then, I wish I knew the names of them. I need to go back and find that out. And then I did one in gold. So let me just tell you a little bit about this because um, the thing I love about this die set, the stitched leaves dies, you can actually um, there's a an outline die that also has a stitched little accent around it. So on the outside of it, uh, what's left of your piece, and we'll, you'll see that in a minute on another card, you'll actually have some stitching. Otherwise, you'll just get an outline cut of that shape. So it's going to go with your stamped images, and it's going to just be fun to make your own leaves. Now the way I got the veining on the inside, if you can see that kind of a stitched look that looks like the veins, each one of these leaves has a little inside piece. And so when you run it through your Big Shot, not Big Shot, stamp and cut and emboss. See, I'm still stuck in the past. I need to move on. You're gonna put the little piece of that does the veining embossing on the inside and then run that through all at the same time. And that's how you get these cool leaf images that have the really pretty details on there. And that's the same thing that I did with this one with the gold, gold foil. Now the other fun thing is you'll notice that there's this leaf and then there's another one that's flipped the other way. One kind of curves one way, one kind of curves the other way. So you can kind of do double duty here when you're sending them through your die cutting machine. Your stamp and cut and emboss die cutting machine. All right, so I already pre-cut all of these. Those are ready to go. Let me put these dies back before I lose them. Would not want to do that. And let's start 
adhering some of these onto our piece. I'm going to start with our sentiment. And we'll put that right across here. And then we're going to add these like so. So I'm going to put just a little dimensional on the back of this side and a little adhesive just so we can stick that down. There we go. That'll overlap our label just a li little bit. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. And I actually might use a little mini dimensional for that one. Put that on the edge. A little bit of seal or sneal. If you're not if you haven't accepted reality yet, it's sneal. All right, and so that is our card. Whoops, we need some bling. Let's try a little in color misty moonlight. And I'm gonna move this copy paper over because I want to show you something. I've showed this on other uh, videos as well. This particular, you might see, you might have this problem if you have, let's see if I can show it here. Um, when you have these in color enamel dots, if the way you pick them up really matters because you might split the little clear bubble off of the background color if you're not careful. They really tend to separate very easily. So the way I get around that is use a piercing mat or something else that's kind of cushy like a catalog and take a piercing tool or a take your pick tool and actually push down on the plastic and go. that makes it go underneath your enamel dot and you're gonna scoop it up more like a spatula. So instead of kind of picking at the edge and that's what kind of separates those two, the little bubble and the color piece, you're gonna go push down into the plastic and scoop up. And if you just do that, then you're not gonna have any problems. So just a little tip, I know some people have been having some trouble with that. Scoop it up like a spatula and it'll work very well. So there's our first card. I, this is my favorite. I gave this out as a swap to some other demonstrators and I really enjoyed making those. So I love that. I did a too cool version. And this one, I didn't like the color combination as much. I was trying to get a little bit more fall but also keep some of those blues in there. But I started with crumb cake and then I used some Christmas gleaming paper or maybe it's brightly gleaming now I forget what it's called but it's it's a returning designer series paper from last year's holiday and then I stamped in just jade cinnamon cider uh, pretty peacock and crumb cake and so it's it's really kind of a different look I'm not sure I like it as much maybe you do maybe there's other people out there that love it but this has a little bit of a copper accent to it so I did a copper leaf here and just jade for that one uh, pretty peacock for the ink and then just a little uh, rhinestone one of the champagne rhinestones the champagne rhinestones look great with anything copper um, anything orangey so I love that so we're gonna be making this card in our five card kit all right let's go on to the next card a little bit of similar start to this one only this time it's going to be sahara sand i loved starting with something that's kind of neutral so that you can really make those colorful leaves pop so that's our background then i've already done some pre uh, die cutting i die cut a rectangle in a rectangle uh, piece here with the stitched rectangles dies and then I also use the pine wood planks embossing folder hopefully you can see that and that's going to be my background before I put that down I'm going to add just a little strip of copper this is just a half inch strip and I cut it just a little bit longer than um, than my piece I think I cut it like three three and a half or three and a quarter inches because this rectangle isn't a perfect, it's like kind of three and three eighths, but it's not perfect. So I just made it go over the edge and then I'm just gonna trim it up with my paper snips here. That way I know it's going to go clear across the whole thing. All right, next, 
get my little pieces off my snips. All right, next we're going to, let's see, I guess we can go ahead and adhere that. I'm making sure that I don't have a ribbon or something. It's like, that's never really happened to me before, but sometimes I forget to put a ribbon on and then I already have the, the piece mounted on there. I don't wanna do that this time, but I don't have a ribbon on this one. Okay, so here's our background. Next, we are just gonna do some um, stamping. And actually, I'm just gonna, I'm running a little behind, so I'm gonna just go ahead and show you. You saw me do the stamping before, so I did, uh, this one in Blackberry Bliss, this one in Misty Moonlight, and this one in Pretty Peacock, and then cut all those out with the stitched leaves dies. So I'm gonna add that to our card, again, with some seal. And I love the idea of kind of breaking these leaves out of the box a little bit. It's kind of just a little designer thing. I used to design catalog pages, so I look at things in a fun little way sometimes. All right, this one's gonna go here. Also just break out the of the box just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little sentiment before I put my other leaf on. This one is the same Sahara sand, and I've already die cut it with the Tasteful Labels dies. And I'm going to stamp that friendship phrase that they have on there, and that's gonna be in, let's see, Pretty Peacock. Actually, no, sorry, I changed my mind. Misty Moonlight. So there is our sentiment. And I'm gonna pop that up with some dimensionals. I just, I love the look of these leaves. They're so pretty and bold, and especially when you put them on a neutral background, they can really, really shine. All right, so I'm gonna put this right over in the corner. And then this one is gonna go kind of over here. So again, we're gonna pop that up with dimensional on the end and then put a little dab. Whoops, take, oh yeah, I didn't take that off. There we go. And then we'll add one little, let's see, did I, have, did I already make it? Yes, a little, um, linen thread bow that I've already tied. We'll add that on there with a piece of the mini glue dots. Again, this is, you don't ever have to touch that mini glue dot, just put it right on there. I pinch it together so that it all goes under that knot, otherwise it's kind of overhanging and it's still gonna be sticky, we don't want that. I'm gonna add that to that leaf and then we'll finish up with some champagne rhinestones because they look awesome with that copper. So let's put one down here. And again, I love using my little paper piercer from a long time ago, it's not available anymore. But the take your pick tool is another good tool that you can use for grabbing your rhinestones and other embellishments. So there is our second card. Really quick, really easy, and I love how it spotlights those beautiful leaves. I'll show you my too cool version. So this one is a horizontal version and many of the same elements. We start with a soft suede. I use that same stitched rectangle background, but I did the pine wood planks going vertically this way now. Um, misty Moonlight. Blackberry Bliss, so just the opposite colors here. And this time I just put a pop of the mint macaron. And then I used a different Tasteful Labels die for the sentiment and a different sentiment from that Love of Leaves stamp set. And then my background um, copper, I made it a little bit wider. I just felt like it needed a little bit more punch the way the layout was coming through. And again, with a linen thread and some uh, champagne rhinestones. So those are 
the two cool versions of those. And this one will be in your five card kit. All right. Let's try another one. Let's look at some of the embossing that you can do with the die. So this is an early espresso piece of cardstock, and I've already embossed the cardstock, the card base, with this really cool embossing die. So this doesn't do any cutting. It's just going to give you a bunch of stitched, faux stitching lines, like hopefully see if the see if the camera will pick that up so you hopefully you can see those lines on this piece of cardstock i can't tell whether the camera's picking that up but i hope that it is all right so that makes a really awesome and simple background for our next card then i'm going to take uh, one of our uh, plaid tidings pieces and as you can see you kind of have a christmas on one side and this one's more fall it's one and a half by five. I'm gonna layer that on some very vanilla. Um, that'll be one and five eighths by five and an eighth. And this just gives it just a little tiny border around it. And then we'll add it directly to our card front. This is another really simple Easy to put together, whoops, easy to put together card. All right, this one is gonna go right here. Let's see, about there. And I have just a little bit of adhesive on there, but I can roll that off pretty easily. All right, next, I've already cut out a leaf and again, just like we did with this small one, I just use the two pair of dies, so the outline, and then you would put, up, obviously upside down, like this, before you run it through the stamp and cut and emboss. And that's how you come up with this, with the veining. If you didn't wanna put the veins in, you could also do that, but it looks so cool. Don't you think so? Too cool. All right, so I have this ready to go. That's gonna go on there. Ooh, I love that together, really pretty. And then I also did a very vanilla stitched shapes circle, and that's where our sentiment's gonna go. We're going to use that friendship sentiment that we already used. Let me clean it up with my Simply Chamois. And we're going to stamp that in Blackberry Bliss. Do it over to the edge here. All right, so you can see this is coming together really, really quickly. We're gonna pop this up, let me see. Yep, I popped it up with dimensionals. When in doubt, pop it up. That's my motto. All right, so this one is really fast. Not a lot of layers, but a lot of cool texture. So we'll add this here to the bottom. We're gonna add that about, that fits perfectly in there. So let's put a couple of dimensionals right here and also right here, and then fill the rest in you're noticing a theme here with a little bit of dimensionals and a little bit of seal. We'll add that right here. Oh, that's so pretty, so pretty. Okay, next we have, what did I do with it? Here it is. This faux suede, early espresso faux suede. This is really fun to work with. This is kind of a unique ribbon that they've offered. And it really does feel like suede, but it doesn't have the hardness of suede. So you can really tie it in a nice knot. And that's all we're doing with this one. We're actually just gonna tie it in a knot and make a little faux bow out of it, like so. And then we'll use our glue dots 
and add that to our leaf. And that'll give us a little pop of that early espresso, a little bit of texture. Let's see, I don't want it to get in the way of my, uh, of my sentiment. Okay, we're gonna finish it up with some Artistry Blooms sequins. You guys, these are awesome. If you don't have these, you need to try them. Or you can get my 10 card uh, Love of Leaves kit is going to include a pack of them. So again, I'll have more information about that extra, um, that 10 card kit along with the stamp set, the Artistry Blooms sequins and some uh, half a pack of the plaid tidings paper. You'll be able to get all of that in a kit. I'll have that available on twocoolstamping.com later. Okay, the thing I love about these Artistry Blooms sequins is because they all kind of match the plaid tidings. Let me just show you really quickly. And I want to have a shout out to Amy Van Huysen because she's the one who pointed this out to me. So you have all kinds of oranges that go with all the oranges. You have, let's see, you have some lighter oranges like yellows, but also kind of orangey. And those go with a lot of those. You have the more of the dark um, pinkish kind of Blackberry Bliss. They go with these pinks on this side. And then you have the light, kind of like a pool party, but it's a little bit lighter than that, but it goes with a lot of the peacock and there's peacock on this side. So anyway, what I'm saying is these sequins match it. They match all these papers beautifully. So they really kind of work together. And if you get the 10 card kit that I'm gonna offer later today, um, you're gonna to have a lot left over that you can use on your own projects. So anyway, I love these and I want you to love them too because they are fantabulous. All right, so I'm gonna put a couple of these on here. And I like just using the little ones on this one. And I'm gonna kind of follow the curve of this circle just to make it a little different. So there's our um, our card. I also love about these sequins uh, and, and Amy pointed this out too. They don't have holes in them like a like mini sequins that you would actually use to sew on a piece of fabric. These don't have holes so you don't have that extra detail. They also are self-adhesive so you don't have to worry about gluing them on and keeping track of them and holding on to them and um, you know they're just really easy to work with. And they also have that really uh, fun iridescentness to them. So they are very versatile. They match a lot of different colors of pinks or a lot of different, you know, a lot of different versions of, you can use them with Bumblebee and Crushed Curry and Daffodil Delight and So Saffron and Mango Melody. It all kind of blends together because of the iridescent. So again, I can't say enough about the Artistry Bloom sequence. Anyway, this card is going to be in your five card kit. And let me show you the Too Cool version. Actually, this is a version, I'm gonna get it out of the, I had it as a swap card. And this is from Deb Snyder. That's where I got this awesome card design. I kind of cased what she did. I liked it a lot and I really love her card. And I love how she used two different die cuts here. She used some linen thread here instead of the faux suede and she actually Looks like she colored one of the pieces of linen thread with Pretty Peacock. Can you see? She has kind of two different colors of thread. And one, I think she used Stampin' Blends markers to color that. And then she used a little strip of, uh, of the copper, a little flecking of uh, ink on there as well. So really fun. Thanks so much, Deb, for sharing that card with me. All right, next card. Okay, now we're getting into some fun die cutting. So this one's gonna start with Whisper White. And don't forget to use the Whisper White Thick when you're using the card base. And you're doing it with a card base because you want that to be nice and sturdy. And next, we're gonna add a piece of five by three and a quarter Pretty Peacock. the background here. This is going to be a horizontal card. 
Next, we have a piece of Cajun Craze, and I've already embossed it with the wrapped in texture, one, one of the wrapped in texture folders. These are a pack of two mini folders, just the regular, not the 3D, the regular kind, and I really love this little polka dot version. So I have already embossed that. And that's gonna go right across the bottom here. All right, next, this is when it starts getting fun. So I took a piece of three by three plaid tidings paper and I used my stitched leaves to cut that out. And you can see, hopefully you can see, there's just a little bit of faux stitching around the outline of that. So that gives it a little bit of extra fun detail. Next, I wanted to layer that on a piece of Bumblebee cardstock. So this is a three by three, so you can get four out of a piece of the plaid tidings paper. And then this is three and a quarter inch square. And so after I cut this out, I laid it on my Bumblebee paper and then I put in this embossing vein, you know, the vein emboss piece, figured out where I wanted that to go with that paper. And before I ran it through, I took this out because I didn't want to injure this in any way going through the stamp and cut and emboss machine. But then I ran this through and that way I had the veining on this piece. So this is going to allow me to pop that up. And this is one of my favorite if you've been stamping with me for a while, you know how much I love a good recessed window image. I just do. So it takes a lot of dimensionals to pop this up. But you wanna make sure you have all four corners and then you also want to do a few of these inside pieces so that your inside image doesn't sag. All right. And just to be, I know this is kind of overkill, but I like the edges all nice and popped up too. I don't want any part to sag. So, pardon me while I take all the backings off, but it's gonna look really cool. And before I put this on, I actually would like, to, I need to put that piece of bumblebee on my card so I don't, so it's easier to adhere. All right, I think I'm done, yes. Let's put this one on first. So get this adhered up here. And then we'll adhere this. And then this is gonna go right over the top, centered. So those the veining shows right through. And then we're gonna finish this up with a little sentiment. I've already die cut a Whisper White piece with the uh, hippo dies. The hippo dies, you know, there's a little bit of hippo in them, but a lot of other really cool um, label dies in there. So I encourage you to check that out. All right, let me find, I'm losing my inks here. I have my pretty peacock. And this time we're gonna stamp, I thought of you today. Isn't that sweet? I thought of you. We're gonna add that with a couple of dimensionals to our card. I have like ink on my finger, or not ink, but adhesive on my fingers for some reason and everything is sticking to it. All right. Put this right over the top here. I thought of you today. So, so sweet. Again, let's take some of these artistry blooms and I'm just gonna put a large one right here for a little, a little sparkly bit. And that, oh, did I get everything? Yes, I didn't have a little ribbon on this. This was it for that one. So this is just a fun, recessed window with a little bit of stitching on the inside. A lot of texture, a little sparkle, some fun layers. I love how that turned out. And then I'll show you 
another version of that. So this time I used the blue and pink, um, kind of a sea, uh, seaside spray and melon mambo. Let's use the correct colors. We're only trying to sell the products. So, um, so I used that plaid paper. I used the different color or the different shape leaf. Did the same kind of setup so I can get the veining on the inside. That was melon mambo that it's layered on. This uses the other texture from the wrapped in texture uh, embossing pair of mini folders. I used a little um, ornate frames label here and then the back piece here is the seaside spray. So this is just another, I kind of use the same elements, same uh, dimensions, same strip of, of two inch, same background, just used it in a vertical with some different color combinations happening and then a, of course a different sentiment. So I love how those turned out. You could do that with all the different leaves um, or just do it with these two larger leaves and try out a bunch of different color combinations with all the different plaids. So many versatile variations. All right, now the other thing that was fun to do with this is, of course, when you cut this out, you have this pretty leaf left over. Well, you can't throw that away. You could if you wanted to put it inside as a little accent, or you could use it on another card, which is what I did. So let me show you that. And I'm not gonna demonstrate this one. This is one that's gonna be in your 10 card kit if you decide to do that. Oh, by the way, this will be in your five card kit. The other one that I showed, the too cool version will not. And then this is just another example of one that will be in your 10 card kit. So again, I'll have all the details on my too cool stamping uh, blog later today. So this is another piece of Whisper White. I have So Saffron for the background here. I've used that really pretty um, embossing for the background, I did it along the top and then I did it along the bottom so it almost looks like it matches up. Then I had a, stitch, a stitched shapes framelit um, do the embossing for that pretty peacock background that I can put my leaf on. And then I did a little Hope Changes Everything sentiment across the top. And don't forget this cute bumblebee paper, bumblebee ribbon on the So Saffron paper looks really great. So that was kind of a fun way to really highlight, um, and I put an artistry bloom, little sequin on there, give it a little bling. Really fun way to use that die cut. So you can kind of do, get two versions there. So that's what I did for that one. And let me show you what I did for the other one. So this was the first card, and then I used the middle die cut to create this card, which I love. Again, this is the Seaside Spray, Misty Moonlight Background. I used the uh, Mary Merlot for this background piece, the Melon Mambo for the Scallop Circle. I have um, just a Whisper White Circle behind, and then a little Hello peeking out with some white crinkled seam binding and some pearls to match. So I love that that's kind of the same color combination, of course, because of the plaid paper, but a whole different look and a whole different fun style of card. So again, neither one of these is gonna be in your five card kit, but both will be in the 10 card larger uh, kit that includes the stamp set. All right, I have one more card to show you today. And this one is gonna start with Mary Merlot. We're going to use a different plaid paper. So here's another one that has, um, it actually looks like Blackberry Bliss, but I thought it also went with Mary Merlot pretty well, so I used it with that. Um, it kind of looks like Cajun Craze, but you can also make it, oh, Real Red, Poppy Parade. Um, the background kind of looks like Melon our, our mango melody or pumpkin pie. I mean, there's a lot of variation because of the plaid. When the colors overlap each other, they create different colors too. So I love it when there's versatility and they definitely have been just over the top outdoing themselves lately. Stampin' Up! has been great. All right, so this one goes 
across the bottom there. I also have a piece of copper and the copper foil. I'm just gonna put some dabs here because my adhesive is a little bit wider than my quarter inch strip. So I'm gonna have to clean up some adhesive. Let me flip this over. We'll put that across the top there. I've already cut out a stitched rectangle shape from gray granite. So that is going to go down onto my card front as well. Put that there. And then I've already cut, stamped and cut out a couple more leaves. So this one is in pumpkin pie. And then I tried out this really long one, it's so cool, with uh, Poppy Parade. So I'm gonna just add those to the top here. And we'll pop those up with a few dimensionals as well. I don't know, I might not pop the long one up. I think I'm just going to make that, let's see, make that kind of go across. Yeah, let's just make that go across. So let's go like this and then pop this up over the top. Just a couple leaves there. And then I've already stamped and, um, and die cut a whisper white little banner here and that is from the tasteful labels as well so i'm going to pop that up on the bottom with a couple more dimensionals so we'll put that right here and again let's try one of these little artistry blooms just for a little pop of color. Really, really pretty. So you can see how fast they come together. If you just wanted to stamp a bunch of different leaves in different colors that were the same, um, that matched some of the different color combinations from your plaid paper, um, you could really put some cards together very, very quickly. So this is one, this will be in your, um, in your five card kit. I'm actually gonna give you enough paper that you can choose whatever leaves you want. So if you wanted to do a version with these smaller leaves, you could just stamp and die cut or stamp and cut out by hand if you didn't get the bundle, um, any, any of the leaves that you like. So I'll give you these parts and pieces and then here's another version that I did with some similar elements, a same, um, a different, plaid uh, color and design here, but the same dimensions here. I also added some pear pizzazz. It's on a pool party background. Um, the stamps are in pool party, pear pizzazz, and shaded spruce. I used a little pool party artisan or artistry blooms sequins up there, but you can see a lot of the same elements there. So you'll get this one in your five card kit. Again, choose any leaves that you want to. You could choose any leaves for any of these really. And then in your 10 card kit, you're gonna get both of these designs. Now I have one more pair of cards that I didn't love, but I wanted to show you because it's another different style that you could do. And so um, this one is going to be in your 10 card get kit. And it's just kind of a really simple uh, two color. I have cinnamon cider on the background and I stamped uh, all over the background with all the different leaf shapes in cinnamon cider to have kind of a fun um, textured background. I put that on some pretty peacock with some pretty peacock and old olive reversible ribbon around it. Or just one little strip of whisper white. I believe it's one and three quarter by four. And then a pretty peacock image there. The champagne rhinestones look fabulous with the cider color and then a little hello at the bottom. And then I just did a different, just swapped out the colors for a second version. So cinnamon cider on the background, pretty peacock, um, 
or pretty peacock for the background cinnamon cider for the card base some cinnamon cider in color ribbon around the edge and then cinnamon cider and then this time I did thank you thank you thank you without re-inking so you could do the same thing over here with hello if you wanted to but I thought that was kind of fun so you'll have um, you'll have all the parts to make this one and again if you want to add different leaves you could do that if you didn't want to stamp the background however you want to do it you can make it your own so that'll be in the 10 card kit all right those are the cards today so let me show you again what you're gonna get in each of the kits so the first one um, every week every time we do a live class I try to offer a live class kit that you can earn for free with a $35 order you do need to use the host code that I have for this kit so this time it's N N E 2 Y D K S and you're gonna get five all the supplies to make five different cards so these are the cards that you will get if I can find all of them here this one and this one so these are all the cards that you're going to get and oh here I actually was going to show you this one as well this is one that I did to go along this these are my first two but then I wanted to make sure that you guys had a kit that had um, some different leaves in there too so I wanted to try that try something different so you could also do it like that that's kind of fun too all right so this is your five card kit you're gonna get all the parts and pieces to make all five cards you just add your own ink and stamps and die um, die cutting I will not be die cutting all of your die cut leaves because um, it's too hard to stamp on a die cut so I will just give you paper for that and then you if you have the bundle you can die cut it if not you'll just have to hand cut those out um, but I will be doing all the die cutting that is not having to do with stamping so these are all going to be die cut for you this will be die cut for you I'm gonna have these pieces die cut for you that type of thing so um, so yeah, that's your five card kit. You'll get everything you need with a $35 order placed at twocoolstamping.com. Just go there and click on the shop now link. Don't forget to use that host code. If you happen to want to place an order for $150 or more, don't use the host code. I want you to, um, to be able to get stamp and rewards on that order. So when you use a host code, it connects the um, your order to another order that I have but I want you to do one on your own because you'll be able to earn stamp and rewards dollars to spend on free items that you want so again that's for an order of hundred and fifty dollars or more don't use the host code now later today on my website to coolstamping.com I'm gonna be uh, opening up registration for a love of leaves class kit and this is the full class kit and in that class kit you're going to have the stamp set you're going to have a half of a pack of the plaid tidings paper so you're gonna have two each of every one of the 12 double-sided designs so you'll have that and then you'll also have a full pack of the artistry blooms um, sequins so you'll get all of those and all these have been you'll get many more than this because I've already used a lot of these but you'll they're four different colors and they all coordinate with that plaid tidings um, paper so you'll get all of that and then you'll also get all the card supplies for five or, or not five but ten different cards so let me show you all of those cards you'll have the other version of this you'll have the too cool version of the outline and the inside so two four six eight and then you'll have both of these I think I told you that I was gonna put that peacock one in there I think I decided I've changed my mind like five times so let's not put that one in there and and we'll just give you two of these that way you can do the oh here here's the other one that's why I'm getting confused sorry again I've changed it so many times so they have these two and then yes this peacock one all right I don't know if all those are showing up on the screen one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 
So those are all of the cards that you get in the 10 card kit that comes with the stamp set, the artistry bloom sequins, and also the paper. And I'll have all that information on twocoolstamping.com. Uh, and the registration for that will be open a little bit longer. The five card kit, that's only open for one week, so it'll be until next Wednesday. Um, so that's, what is that? It's gonna be the 23rd of September. And then this Love of Leaves full class kit is going to be open up a little bit longer. Now, if you want the dies, which, oh my gosh, you totally gotta to get the dies, the stitched leaves dies. And if you want those, that will be available as an add-on to your full class kit. So um, so you'll pay a little bit more, get the dies, you will, with the kit, you will get that bundle discount that is offered in the catalog. So that's a $10 or 10%, not $10, 10% savings when you purchase the stamp set along with the dies. So I hope I'm not confusing you. Um, we still have that five card kit available with that's free with an order. Um, the other thing is, when you get the larger 10 card kit, you're gonna get envelopes. I don't include envelopes with my small five card kit, simply because it's, um, I put it in a very small envelope and it's kind of cost prohibitive, prohibitive when it comes to postage. When you purchase the larger kit, you're gonna have all of your products and everything in there, so your postage is gonna cost a little bit more for that anyway. Um, I pay for the postage on the free kit, for the larger kit, you're gonna pay the postage. So, okay, again, take a look at the, the 10 card kit that comes with the stamp set and some of the extra products. And then if you just want the five card kit, we're gonna take these things away. And this is what you get for just placing a $35 order with me. You'll get all the parts for those. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I'm so, so happy that you spent some time with me today with our Love of Leaves class. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed putting it together and presenting it for you. Um, don't forget also to come back to the Too Cool Stamping Facebook page today on September 17th. That's my birthday. And we're doing a little birthday challenge. Again, uh, if you post two cards that you're gonna be sending out to two of your friends or family today, and also send me your, your address, just uh, direct message me with your address if you know that I don't have it already, then I will send you a card off of my card rack. So I hope you participate in that challenge. We just want to send cards out and make people happy. And it's, I think it's really especially important right now when we're having a lot of, we're having trouble having in-person connections with people. Cards are becoming extra important and it's a good way that you can reach out and, and share and connect with people that you care about. So I do challenge you to send out two cool cards today and let me know about it on my Facebook page and I'll send you a card. All right, everybody, thanks again so much for joining me. I hope that you enjoy me next week. Uh, we do this every week on Thursday at 9 a.m. Eastern time and I'll have another live class for you that I know you're gonna love. Until next week, I'll see you later. This is Angie with Too Cool Stamping. Bye-bye.